Hello everybody and welcome back to the practice runs for the modlock. We are jumping in as the next character on our list. Things haven't been going so hot recently. Tainted Andromeda and Bertrand both proving to be quite difficult characters. We're jumping in as the deleted this time. This character has some additional wackiness on top of it. Mainly, as you can see here, we have um, different modes that you can play as um, with this guy. Uh, we can change our mode using Bitflip here. So, a lot of them are locked. Whoa. It kind of like cycled between a lot of them there. Okay. So, if we go back through. Oh, that's just random, I see. Let's, let's get back to the start and we can go through all of these as we go. So, I think VCS is the, is, is the starting one. Um, custom mode. Uh, customize settings inside the mod menu. Okay, so that's custom. Then we've got... The Happy 99, using Bitflip to flip between the corrupted world and the normal world. And uh, email worm celebrating a new year. Uh, the I love you, red hearts only, corrupted items no longer have negative effects. We've got Morris, starting with the D14, a six room charge pocket item which corrupts one room only. Interesting. The Zip Bomber. No corrupted items. Use Extract to reroll any item while adding a negative effect to it. We've got the Crypt -er Locker. No red hearts. Corrupted effects are concealed, but they provide a damage bonus. Spyware. Deleted is stuck in its corrupted form, using Clean to reverse corruption. A Jerusalem. An Eden mode starting with random stats, um, items, and appearance. Um, and... Hikridus? I can't even read that one. Uh, deleted can't pick up health for each negative effect. Uh, gain half a soul heart. Okay, kind of interesting. So there's, there's a lot of different modes that we could take on here. Um, I think Happy 99 is the, is the standard one. So I think we're going to go with that one and try this out. But yeah, um, one thing I'm not 100% sure on is um, how exactly we're going to be um, doing the different modes when it comes to the Nuzlocke. Because, I don't know, it, it feels like everyone's just going to play as the easiest mode as this guy. But we'll see, we'll see. Uh, so we've got Ipecac off the bat. Or we can corrupt it. The way this guy works, essentially, Bitflip allows you to corrupt a room or item, as you can see here. Essentially, like the delete this challenge, you can get the item as normal here. It will have a neg negative effect though. Or we can go here, gain an empty heart container, use a pill, and each um, second secret room will spawn nine batteries. Upon going down to the next floor, 85% chance to spawn two super troll bombs. I think we'll take regular Ipecac in this case. Um, just because times two, um, oh there you go, times two uh, troll bombs isn't actually so bad. But having a... Uh, Good old Ipecac is quite nice. Probably going to be a pretty good start for us. Ipecac is an item that I was going to say I haven't had in a while, but I actually have. I had it as Andromeda just a few episodes ago. Yeah, this is a character that I think could be really difficult or really easy. Because I feel like one of his sort of main things is it's about taking risks. And it really depends on how much... Oh, sorry. One minute. I had a hair in my mouth. Um, it depends on how much um, risk you're willing to take. Because obviously there's a lot of positive effects, but it depends. Do you want to take those positive effects with the chance of some of those downsides rearing their ugly head and ruining your run? Now, I will say the one good thing about this guy is you do get to know the downsides of the bit flip items and the regular items. So it's not like you're going to be really struggle busting it the whole time. I really should have bit flipped that. That was my bad. I forgot that we could do that there. Um... Yeah, so that's kind of the best way to go about it, I think. So let's take a little look. So this is definitely an item we don't care about. Um, on hit, use butter beam. On floor, spawn seven random chests. On bit flip, spawn 20 poops with flies. Hmm. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> okay, that's not actually so bad. It's bad, but it's not so bad. I thought it was going to spawn them all on top of me. Um, and honestly, if we get petrified poop, it might not be that bad of a thing. <laughs> it's, it's a little risky, certainly. Uh, we get a little chub here. Um, upon going to the floor, use two times this. Use the lover's reverse. 
On hit spawn, 23 troll bombs. No, thank you. Okay. So, basically, once we've used Bitflip, we kind of can't leave. <laughs> we really don't want to use it more than twice in a room. But, I think rooms like this... Because we've got Ipecac, we have the opportunity to actually make this work in our favour. I'm trying to look for Petrified Poop right now. So I feel like if we get Petrified Poop, this might actually be a pretty decent thing to have. I don't know. I can't confirm. Just have to be careful about the flies, obviously. But, I reckon we wouldn't have to pl play around with this too long to get ourselves Petrified Poop. Obviously, I'm not going to do it all in this one room here, because that could take a while. But, kind of an interesting idea. Kind of an interesting idea. Definitely a bit risky. And this is the sort of thing that I'm talking about. Like, the risk associated here, it isn't an insane risk, because, like, we're only ever going to get, like, hit once by that. It's not going to do much to us. But it is still a pretty big risk that, like, we're going to get hit more often. I really, really like it. I think I think this character has a lot of fun to him. I'm probably going to stick with this mode most of the time, just because I feel like this is the classic mode. Um, people can play the easier modes if they want. I, I just I feel like playing this mode is probably going to be the most fun. I might throw in another one here and there, depending on how I feel. But for my first run, definitely I'll end up going with this guy and trying to get at least a few completion marks. Obviously, most of the time, we ain't going to get quite as lucky as starting with Ipecac as we did this time around. And that's definitely making things a little easier. But yeah, you just got to kind of ass um, assess where the risk lies and how much risk you're willing to take on. Well, that was kind of nice. Please give us a single penny. And we get Tech X here as well. Interesting. Um, I was just about to say, I don't know how that's going to work. So I think, yeah, okay, so... I was just about to say the risk is mostly gotten rid of now. It's not, because it still explodes. I kind of forgot about that. Okay. Okay, health not looking great right now. Upon floor gets shot speed. On item use, get temporary. Each angel deal, get a luck upgrade. On active use, chance to spawn monsters. Spawn 22 mum's hands. No thank you. Okay, I think I'll just take that, thanks. And I think we'll just go down. <laughs> so we should get seven chests upon going to this floor here. Indeed we did. We also got the two troll bombs as well. It seems the chests are random chests as well, which I actually wasn't expecting. Okay, so now let's bit flip again. I'm going to try and take out most of the fly poops early. Pretty good way of taking care of him here. Okay, spawn two times shop items on a key. Get two times chaos until hit. Spawn eight super troll bombs. Um, upon going down to the next floor, get a tears up. First hit each floor, 4% chance to spawn 37 boils. I think I'm going to take this. That seems fine. One of them bombs actually exploded and I wasn't expecting it. Oh, God. I'm going to kill myself, aren't I? I forget how dangerous Ipecac plus Tech X is. But it's, it's pretty dangerous. We need flight, really. Okay, good, good. Soul Cleaver. Oh, we'd lose Ipecac. I don't know, though. Maybe losing Ipecac is a good idea. Um, yeah, let's let's take that. We lose Ipecac, but I actually think that losing Ipecac is going to kind of save our life. Like, Tech X is really good on its own. <laughs> so, let's just take that, shall we? We kind of saved ourselves there in a weird way. We also gained a heart container, which is rather nice. But yeah, Tech X on its own is pretty good, so pretty happy with that. Yeah, it means we're going to get some changing builds. Oh, I should have gone back and bought um thingy, shouldn't I? Ooh, um, yeah, I'll take that. I should probably take Guppy's head as well. 
Uh, I forgot that I had, I had Chaos. I was like, why did I get... Why did I get that? I think Guppy's head would be a really good grab. Just for some extra actual like alternative damage. But I think we've now got a build coming up that is looking to be relatively good to go. I think this room here, I'm going to try and do some bit flipping to um, get ourselves petrified poop. Just because this room, I feel like we have the best chance of doing so. Of not, not being hit by the, uh, the flies. Okay, maybe maybe these thingy poops can actually can actually drop it. There's, there's, there's the chance of that, but I don't think that's the case. I'm pretty sure these poops can still drop petrified poop. If I'm wrong, then more fool me, but I guess we're still getting drops out of these regardless. I'm not going to go absolutely crazy with this. I'm only going to do it like n another two times. Like we'll, we'll flip back over again, but... Got a rotten heart there. I'll take a rotten heart. Why not? Yeah, this is our last time doing it. At least for this room. We might, we might try and do it a little, a little bit more after. It's a good way to get a lot of money, though. Yeah, Deleted is such a fun character. Look, look at the amount of chaoses we have. Ow. Chaoses are just filling up our pockets right now. So you're you're going to go down pretty quick, sir. I love the respray of this guy. Looks insane. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Um, yeah, that's really good, actually. So every 10 rooms, we get um, the trinket that gives us double the amount of flies. Um, and every secret room, we get 32 chance for a troll bomb. I think that's pretty good. Bit flip back again. Where are you, petrified poop? Can these poops even drop it? I don't know, but I want them to. Down we go. So remember, we're going to get two troll bombs and seven chests again. Just get ready for the troll bombs. Sadly, all just regular chests this time around, but got a good amount of stuff there. I think that it's always going to start off the floor in a good way. Good, good, good. We keep moving on. One thing I'm a little curious about, I don't know if it's a bug, is um, if when we see our next reflected item, I'll try and point it out. I know it's something that's a little bit buggy with the UI, and I don't know if it's a genuine bug or not. I'm going to bit flip here and uh, spawn some poopies. See, like, I could just spam it and try and spawn, like, a whole bunch of them, but I'm scared I'd hurt myself. There it is. We got it. We got it. You see, this character allows you to do some cheesing. So, yeah, now we can just go like this. <laughs> it actually sticky keys me. I can't. I couldn't get rid of the sticky keys notification. That's so funny. <laughs> That's so funny. That's hilarious. I was not expecting that. I mean, I got hit, I got hurt quite a lot because of it, so that's a little bit sad. But yeah, so as you can see, we can um we can do some cool stuff now with Petrified Poop. We can hopefully gain ourselves some HP as well. Mask of Infamy here is incredible. So, it, this, is the, this is the thing I'm seeing, look. So, there's no downside to Mask of Infamy here. But once I flip... Let's just quickly take care of some of these. There's the soul hearts we're looking for. Once I flip, and then I flip back again... Lucky Penny... It says it now has a downside. So, does it actually or does it not? I don't know. But I still think I'm going to take the reflected version. Each room has a 50% chance to spawn a random monster. I think we're, we're capable of dealing with that more than. Um, and yeah, one second actually, I need to pause. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, so get three times the, the beast blood or whatever the hell it's called. On hit 
spawn 28 poops. That's really good for us. And yeah, 51% chance to spawn a random monster. That's really good. So the, the blood thing, if that works, is really good. It means you get three free hits of floor. If it stacks, that means we get nine free hits of floor, which I, I, I honestly doubt, but that'd be really awesome if that was the case. So there's our random enemy. Um, what has what has happened here? What's what's going on? There's a downside that I missed at some point. I'm thinking because I activated my uh, my space bar and it spawned like an absolute bajillion of the mum's hands, and I'm not sure if that was my doing or what. I guess we'll find out now. Okay, yeah. Our active is unusable now. <laughs> I wonder if that's all of our actives or just that one. If that happens on Bitflip, we have a problem. Okay, no, it doesn't. At least doesn't happen on Bitflip. That would have been pretty wild. Another soul heart there. Very nice. Get out. Get out of here. I don't want you, heart. Yeah, so don't don't use um don't use our uh, active item right now. Oh, oh, okay. So when it said spawns 28 poops, I thought it meant real poops. It just means pick up poops. That's that's no good. <laughs> That's not what we need. Damn shame. A damn shame. Big sad for that. Right, let's check our shop because we've got a lot of money here. That's really nice, actually. Might as well grab that as well. Seems like a good room to bit flip in. I mean, obviously, we're mainly getting money out of this, but my hope is we get soul hearts. There's not actually enough room left to spawn that many uh, poops in this room. But we at least have an unlimited source of money now, which is rather nice. And red health, too. If we could get more red heart containers, that would really help. Right, let's see how this goes. We don't have really many bombs to use. I am sad that we had to get rid of Ipecac, but honestly, I think it worked out better for us. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> the amount of just poops everywhere, it's so funny. A poop drop that we literally can't do anything with. There you go. Then the box, or oh, let's just make sure we're not going to get hit by any of these flies first. Um, on hit, 36% chance to spawn a cluster of bombs. Each kill uses Yum Heart. Each boss kill, sorry. Okay, no, we don't want that. We'll, we'd rather just take the box. We got a golden pill out of it. We got a hero font card out of it. Good stuff. Balls of steel. Tears down. Puberty. Relax. I think we're all full up on poop, to be honest. Relax again. And then we bit flipped. Okay. That wasn't so bad. We got a ball to steal out of it. We did get a tears down, though. Ooh. Another soul heart as well. You see what I mean? This is beautiful. Some really good stuff we got going on here. This character is going to be wacky as shit. We're going to have a really fun time as him on the Nuzlocke, I think. There's definitely going to be some issues here and there, I'm sure. I'm sure... It's going to be a bit crazy, but I like it. Right. <clears throat> we just get chaos so often. <laughs> chaos just keeps coming back. Right, let's ch check the secret room real quick. Unfortunately, not a very good secret room for us. We're, now we're just looking for our item room and shop. God damn, there's some good pills going on right now. Big old pill right there. I'll take this pill, why the hell not? But yeah, for the most part, you should have a good understanding of the effects that are that are imposed upon you with this character. I don't know how I missed the mum's hand one on our active item. I don't know what I picked up that caused that. 
But for the most part, that's not going to happen. Oh, we did get the thing. Yes. Might as well just do that. Um, yeah, so we, we didn't take any damage there because we have that. Uh, the, the, the three blue things we have. Spawn two burn hearts. Hell yeah. Very, very nice. So we're getting quite lucky with the random chance to spawn extra monster. It's not happening very often. I like that. Good, good. We do need a little bit more damage, though. I feel like we're uh, we're definitely lacking in the damage department right now. Also, tier it too. We lost a little bit of that with the golden pills. So that's. Definitely not great. Okay. Still got a rotten heart, which is good. Uh, we we have that uh, trinket as well, which is spawning more and more flies, which is really nice. In fact, I need to test something real quick. So we lost all of our flies now. We should, in theory, get four flies for completing this room. But we got more, which implies that the fishtail, having two of them, does actually have an effect. Which is very good for us, because we're likely to get more. Sun, I don't really care about that. So we got a doppel here. You're taking so long to kill, my dude. Just die. We got some more chaoses. It keeps like giving us chaoses, then removing them. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Maybe that's just a fail save so the game doesn't crash, so it doesn't give you too much of one item. I don't know. I'm only speculating here. Right. Here we are, our item. Play-Doh Cookie's already great. Or we could get every kill 1% chance to get a bunch of these. On uh, Golden Heart. Oh, God. On Golden Heart, get... Um... A ton, an absolute ton of health upgrades. Nah, I'm going to stick with the regular. The regular's too fun with this setup. But I don't know if the regular had a, a downside associated with it. But just because of this, that's, for, for me, that's just beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful having a rainbow. Any laser or um, brimstone effect with Play-Doh Cookie is just the most fun. It's just beautiful. Ooh, okay, this is a good opportunity, actually. Getting some extra items from this. We've got so much money already. Okay, we got all of them. And then, so, we can get Stopwatch, which is really good. But let's let's check what the bit-flipped versions of all these are. We're looking for tiers up our damage ups, really, in our bit-flips. Or just some really, like, interesting, wacky effects. That would also go down well. So we've got On Bomb, Gain Seraphim, and Use Blood Bag. Each question room has a 30% chance to spawn a dump. Um, each secret room, we get Explosivo. On um, going down to the next floor, you, um, use a pill and spawn nine keys. After six hits, 27% chance to spawn three random troll bombs. Each sacrifice room get um, hot bombs until hit. Instead of dying, one spawn three creep slippery browns on hit. 3% chance to spawn three double hearts, spawn ten troll bombs. Okay, so I think... Hmm. Hmm. This is peculiar. Um... I think we take this and this and this. I think we take all of those bit flipped. And I think so if I if I place a bomb. Okay, I didn't get Seraphim. I'm not sure why I didn't get Seraphim there. Maybe it's on killing with a bomb? I don't know. But one thing we know for sure is that if we go into this secret room here. We should get ourselves something. I can't remember what it was now, but we should get ourselves something. Maybe it has to be a new secret room. I don't know. Either way, I know that we need to be finding secret rooms. Honestly, it's going to be very hard to keep track of the effects that we currently have imposed on ourselves. Okay. 
Health is looking really good right now, though. Okay, we got Seraphim. Oh, I'm picking up a bomb. Like a bomb pickup, not I'm using a bomb. We're going to get Seraphim. That's really, really strong. <laughs> We're going to get a lot of Seraphims. <laughs> we already got conjoined. I don't even know if Pop does anything for us here. Hey, fella. We got another fishtail here. We'll step in here. We got Pascal Candle, which is already a good item. Or we could get... Oh, God, that was stupid. Well, not in a bad place. Or we could get ourselves. Every six rooms spawn three times golden keys. On Eternal Heart, get something. Oh, Demon's Tail. On Eternal Heart, 99%. Okay, so that's not very good. We'll just take the, um, the actual item. Oh, there's a poop on top of it. Now, can I bit flip the uh, the key piece? I would doubt not, but I mean, we ought we ought to try it, right? We owe it to ourselves to give it a go. Spawn thirteen blue fireplaces. Every kill, ninety three percent chance to get. Oh god. Okay, I'll take that. Why not? Ow. <laughs> um. Each upon going down to four, get. Ooh. Every room, 40% chance to spawn two TNT. That, I'll take that in a heartbeat. <laughs> that is an entertaining lot to get. Interesting stuff we got going on here. So going down to the next floor is now quite, co quite, a, quite a cautious affair. We also got quite a few Seraphims. Quite a few Seraphims, indeed. What will going into here give us? Explosivo, that was it. That doesn't matter too much. So now we have Explosivo, which is just a great thing to have. Hey, we got another uh, machine, which is really good for us, because that means more items to flip. Hopefully, we can grab a few of these. There you go, we got them all. Okay, so, what we got here? What's what's going on? Let's first of all, get rid of all of the, uh, the flies that are about. So, I'm going down to the next floor, get two times of that. Every boss trap room, get that until hit. On Dark Arts, get temporary, uh, whatever that is. On activation, use, you lose one key. Gain two hearts every 70 seconds. Oh, no, that's that's bad. Oh, that's also bad. Okay. I'd say that all of these are pretty trash. I'm just going to take the regular items. So, this says lose explosivo. Let's see if we actually do. Okay, you actually do. So, from what I understand... Or at least what I'm seeing is um, once you bit flip, you if you want to go back to not bit flipping, you're gonna have to take on a penalty. That's that's on purpose. We're gonna have to keep that in mind. Oh, I lost my keys. Wait, I lost all my keys. Also, we have a lot of tiny planets right now. So, for, for example, that's a good item, but we can go back to this. On hit, get two red poop something or others. On heart, use that. Upon going to the next floor, 37% chance to get six blended hearts. Each room, 60% chance to spawn four red poops. Or we can go back. So this now gives us 40% chance for six red poops. Okay, that's an interesting quirk. We're going to have to keep that in mind. So we, we have a good chance of getting the red poops on every room here. So we always get the TNT barrels. Let's see if we end up getting these red poops. Because we technically we should. There you go. There's the red poops. Okay. So that, is, that isn't that is a UI bug. That is done intentionally. That is done on purpose. We're going to have to keep that in mind. Because I'm sure that can cause us some problems. It's interesting that we're getting so many tiny planets. But no like range upgrades or anything like that. I thought it would be like stacking our range into the sky. 
I think our Seraphims are honestly stronger than us. There's so many of them. And they all hurt and they all fire uh, Sacred Heart shots. Honestly, as well, like, I can't take damage. <laughs> I haven't been able to take damage in a while. I guess we'll take Polaroid here. Yeah, so we're, we're gonna have to be a bit more vigilant about what our downsides end up being. We got something. There's some keys. We lost Tech X. So one of our downsides is losing certain items, or losing an item on going to the next floor. So we did lose Tech X, which... Honestly, at this point, I don't think matters in any way, shape, or form. Just due to the sheer amount of Seraphims we have. We've got Explosivo back. we got a lot of Chaoses. We have this with a lot of tiny planets as well. Hmm. I think every time we hit an enemy, it spawns a new tiny planet. Just look at look at our item tracker. It's just all chaos and uh, tiny planets. That's all it is. Maybe it's on kill. I don't know. Either way, it's crazy. Also, we seem to be we seem to be losing keys at an alarming rate. So let's just take it. Take a look at our keys. We're at four now. We finished this room. We're still at four. Is it getting hit that does it, maybe? Yeah. Okay, getting hit means we lose a lot of keys. Not that we can actually get hit properly. So I don't take any damage when I get hit. I haven't done for a while. I think I genuinely get nine free hits every floor, which essentially makes me near invincible. Seraphim army. Go. Picking up an eternal heart, spawned a bunch of those, okay. So, spawn three times random machines, use soul cleaver, each penny you lose two bombs. No thank you, that sounds terrible. Each angel deal spawns seven lucky pennies. After two hits, gain a um, circle of whatever protection until next hit. One hit spawns two pickups, gain a high, uh, heart container. First hit each room, 17% chance to spawn a random monster. Okay, yeah, let's just take it. That sounds interesting. Down we go. This has been crazy. <laughs> we've actually, like, like, we've got a surprisingly stable run going right now. Yeah, we have a surprisingly stable run. I'm, I'm kind of baffled at how that's happened. But there's only the, the only really true wacky thing that's happening is the infinite stacks of Tiny Planet and Chaos, but that doesn't actually seem to have any negative effect on us. Did I not hit that button? Oh my god, I got hit three times in a row there. But like I said, it doesn't matter. Getting hit three times in a row ain't shit to us. Go, Seraphil Army. We've got a circle of protection here going on now. Golden troll bomb there, do you know? Just 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 because, why not? Honestly, Seraphim Army is all that's all that's needed for success here. Can we more explosivo, why not? Also, why not pop that? Oh my lord, that spawned a lot of random enemies. Why? I have no idea. I don't think I'll ever really understand. I don't think anyone will. <laughs> Are we making our way to the boss? I think so. I cannot say for sure. Go, Sarah buddies. Go! <laughs> Shoot the whoop! 
Troop the whoop or um Yeah, I don't think we want that. Yeah, so basically if I see if I see a good normal item that I might want to take, I should always take it. There's no contest. It should always be something I grab. Beautiful. And then I genuinely don't remember if we took the Polaroid or negative. I really don't. Every four minutes, get three times that. Upon going to the next floor. Ooh, damn. Um, get blue map until... Okay, I'm going to take this. On floor, 37 percent to spawn 8 troll bombs. Uh, yeah, let's just leave that. I think, I think I took the Polaroid. I do not remember. We'll, we'll find out, I guess. Okay, so there's some keys. We always get keys on going to the next floor. We got filigree feather as well, which is interesting. I lost most of those keys instantly. Due to a reflected item. Give me another explosivo, because why not? Okay. We're on our way. We are on our way. <laughs> I like the way that we can get as far into the room as we want, but the endless line of seraphims never stops. Like, they're, they're, they're still just filtering out from the door. Crazy the, the amount of them that we have. Damn, I was hoping to keep some keys for the next floor, but I suppose I will get some on the next floor. Also, the amount of chests we're going to get on the next floor is going to be nutty. Oh, we actually took some damage at some point. Damn. Crazy. We lost a soul heart at some point. I don't know when that was. Oh, is that just when we traded our health away? It might be. Random enemies business is kind of Kind of tricky. Got some tough enemies here and there. I mean, they're all dying pretty quick. But yeah, this guy's going to be one that, that can... I, I think early game, you can have some really bad runs as him, so you could die. But late game, there's going to be a pretty good chance that you're going to be fine. Unless you take stuff specifically that can kill you. You just need to be picky about what effect you grab. Yeah, I don't want that. That's a lot of red poops to be spawning. No thanks. Okay, boss time. Good, good. Come on, Seraphim. Go, 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 go. Thank you. Oh, he spawned on a red poop. Fantastic. He just took a ton of damage. He actually survived that. Okay, good to go. Eternal hearts give us a lot of those guys. Whoopsie. Okay, right. Be, be, be kind of cautious here. Don't step into anything we don't need to. Okay, we've got a lot of chests here, which is great. So, let's see what real items we get first. See what we might want. So far, nothing. Don't want a single one of these. Wow, that was just a, a load of horseshit. So we'll bit flip all of it. Accidentally spawn a thousand enemies for no reason. I picked up an item that I didn't get, get to see what it did at all. So that's definitely worrying. I'm just going to leave for a second. I have suplex now. I don't know where I got suplex from, but I have suplex now. Right, let's try, let's try and get through these, shall we? Shot speed doesn't... Okay, that doesn't matter. Um, what the hell hit me then? There's nothing even in here to hit me. Did I walk into a red poop? Maybe I did. Um, why not? Um, every 11 rooms. No, thank you. Picked that up. Didn't even get a chance to read it. Oh, my God. Oh, no. 
Um. What the hell's going on here? Apparently, picking up one coin spawns more coins, which spawns more coins, which spawns more coins, which spawns more coins. That's um, a little crazy. Let's flip back to reality. Also, it's more suplex. Oh god, no. No, the penny, the penny infestation has started. Get me out of here. Oh my god. I got a lot of luck upgrades. That's nice. But as soon as I pick up a penny, bad things start to happen. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love the fact that there's these red poops here that are insta-killing some enemies. Don't pick up that penny. Don't you dare. No! I picked up a penny. Be careful. No! Ah! It's happening! <laughs> oh, God. The penny convergence. All becomes penny. Suplex! Suplex did not do a lot of damage in that scenario. Hey, Donkey's job that's pretty good. I'll take that. What is this, like, random floating piece of wood that we have just, like, hovering in every room? You see it? Watch. Look, it's just there again, behind behind the stain. There it goes, look. It's just got this random floating piece of wood. I don't know where it came from. It's so strange. Suplexure! Explosivo's going a bit wild here. Did you just spawn a penny on me? Don't you dare. There you go. We did it. We got a win. We got a win. The deleted. Holy hell. What a fun character. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.